as you see behind me, the ducks are in the center of the property. And uh, hey, that was a task we thought it was gonna be, but I did not feed the ducks. And I moved the one fence, trapped them in one fence and took the other fence over there, went ahead and got it straightened up and then let them know, you know, I just rang the dinner bell, y'all. Ringing that dinner bell, they came straight from the fence when we opened it into the new fence, closed them up in that, took up the other fence, carried it over there and then connected it after we set it up and connected the fences together. So that's a tip I can give anybody. If you're gonna feed your ducks, don't. If you gotta move the fences, don't feed them. And when you get out there, trap them in one of the fences. Most people that have ducks use two of these 100, uh, 100 foot fences and uh, trap them in one, go ahead and set your other one up, open the gate, start shaking the feed. Here they come a running. It worked out perfectly and uh, the ducks are moved. So I wanted to show you, I cleared out my corner as you see. Oh my Lord, it was so grown up and so pretty. My neighbor let me borrow his tractor. I still have a big stump, uh, not a stump, but a, well, yeah, it was a stump, but I rolled it up. It's sitting there with a big log, but I was able to clear the corner out because now I can access more of my property. I mean, that's a big corner that I'm able to use now. I uh, had the field cut, that is really good. No, I don't have a tractor, but I know some really good people. And uh, I've been very busy today with that tractor and I was hoping I could get a lot of it filmed, but I wasn't able to get a lot filmed and I apologize for that. But y'all, I'm just doing everything I can get done. I am an over the road truck driver and uh, it's rough, you know, you only have like a day and a half, sometimes two days to get a lot of stuff done and it has to be good weather. It has not been good weather in a while. So this weekend I had to make the best of it because it's really good. Bad thing was I had a safety meeting this morning. So that took all the morning till about, I got home I think around 10 a.m. this morning. Uh, so I've been gone since Monday. I didn't come home till Saturday morning today, you know, so yeah. But uh, I did move the ducks, y'all, check this out. They're in their new place. I piled this dirt up right here because I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all this dirt and just hand shovel it because I don't have the truck no more, uh, tractor no more. But I'll hand shovel this into this hole here. But the ducks love it, y'all, as you can see. But I will have to uh, dig it down because they will be flying out. <laughs> they will definitely fly out if you don't watch it, y'all. Definitely fly out. But I got my turkeys over here having a good old time. Tomahawk. Woo! Watch him. You scream at him, and buddy, he'll he'll let he'll let it rip. But he's looking a little rough with them feathers. I don't know what's up with them feathers right now. Boy, he looks terrible. But he's a big old pretty boy. He's getting a big old chest on him. I like that. I think he's gonna be bigger than his daddy. I hope he is. And uh, to those who don't know, uh, you know, I started off on TikTok and Facebook, and one of my turkeys had no problem out of him or nothing showed up one day and there was an ice storm and he didn't make it through the ice storm i'm really not sure why he wouldn't go in the house that we have he's always went in there but he didn't that day and uh when the ice storm was over he decided to go inside and when he did well that's where we found him he passed away and luckily i had a bunch of turkeys that we had raised off of him so that's how we were able to replace him that's his son, uh, he's called Tomahawk. But I uh, got the American breasts over here. Sorry, I'm not trying to make y'all drunk. I do need to harvest some chickens, for sure. For sure. I gotta take out some roosters. But boy, it's hard to decide which one to take out. I do have a skinny one I'm gonna take out. He's more slender than he is wide. That big boy right there in the back, he's not going anywhere. He's got a humongous breast on him. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to single out just the birds with the big breasts. I don't care about the tall chickens. Uh, I did raise just the big, big, big birds, you know, the big tall roosters, but their breasts were a lot slimmer. So as I've been paying attention, every time I raise a short stocky bird, like you see right there, he's short and stocky, but look at his breast. He's very young y'all, but look at the size of his breast. That dude's gonna have a big breast. So he's probably gonna stay. He is short, 
he is stocky and a lot of people probably want the big tall birds but i'm going for the best you know meat to bone ratio and he's got it if you ask me that's going to be a better bird to me than the tur the chickens that you know are just so tall and uh good thing is it's my chicken jaw i can do whatever i want with them and to anybody out there that's wanting to start a homestead i mean you can listen to people you can take people's advice you can do whatever but you know people criticize it doesn't matter people send you hate mail people are gonna s stop by your farm and tell you how they would do it hey, you know in one ear out the other because it doesn't matter it's your farm you do what you want on your land and you know just tell them hey won't you try that oh well, i don't have chickens oh but but you know everything about them you know i mean you can't let stuff like that bother you but uh my daughter come and got eggs but i don't think she noticed the two eggs laying on the ground over here oh that's not eggs i was fixing to say what the heck those things look weird i have no idea what that is but we're definitely gonna have to eat. oh that's rolls of some sort i guess but i do have some small eggs in here that don't make sense so we must have had a chicken that wasn't laying eggs and now she's decided to start laying eggs so she's laying like some really small ones so uh i know this video was probably random and stupid or whatever but you know what it's a journey i try to share what i can with everybody and hopefully you enjoy it so far if you haven't done so please click like and subscribe and I promise to make the videos better, y'all. I have been running a tractor since I got home, and I'm trying to rush these videos in to give some sort of content for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. I am your boy, Maniac. Thank you for watching Maniac Nation. We out.